How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Symphonics channel. Today we're building the high grade Gundam number O, the Gundam Curio. So, uh, one of the early, more uh, early Gunblas, so I'm not expecting actually got some good result. But anyway, uh, I like the box art by the way. Um, at the side, we got some flight position action, we got the unpainted drop here, and uh, we also got some description at the side as well. When we open it, we'll see some runners. We'll see one package. Um, two packages, um, three packages, and at the bottom we'll get a instruction book. And uh, when we open it, we'll see some uh, transformation process. We will have some um, instruction here as well at the back as well, like this. So we got some runners here. We got this. Um, this is the A runner. That's the B runner. That's the E runner, which is rubber. It's very rubber, it's rubber, and um, we got the C runner here, and we also got the D runner here. Right, we got the polycaps and the stickers as well. And um, you know, I'm gonna see you at the review. Welcome back to the review of the Curious Gundam. So this is the finishing of it. I need to say that this suit uses a lot of unnecessary stickers that could achieve by part separation. Um, for example, you will see a lot of unfit stickers such as the waist. Uh, you know the waist, you see the red part on the waist uh, is a sticker. And what I'm saying is it could have achieved by uh, color separation, but I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why Bandai would use uh, stickers here uh, because that part could have just gone as a you know a individual piece, but you know I guess Bandai didn't think about back in the time of like two thousand eight, two thousand seven. And uh, what I'm saying is, there's a lot of part you need to repaint it. Uh, there's a lot of part supposed to be gray and yet is achievable by part by parts. But then I choose to either make it to white or just use this, uh, some stickers to fill it up. So this, uh, after you finish the whole model, it, you're gonna need to do a lot of recoloring. <laughs> just saying that. Anyway, uh, that's not the point. So uh, I will start with the movement first. All right, so let's start with the hair. So uh, move up, move down, 
move, uh, couldn't really move down because you know there's a there's a joint uh, there is a kind of blocking the way. Couldn't really move sideways as well because there's two uh, kind of like this uh, this yellow piece here is blocking the way, so couldn't really move 360. Well, possibly in maximum probably uh, moving around 40 degrees. Yep. So there's nothing about the head. Show yourself a uh, 360 movable, 360 movable. Uh, the arms itself is a uh, 360 twistable as well and on the hand is the uh, same with the uh, arms as well 360 twistable and at the back wing the back wings itself uh, is 360 twistable but you know there's a head blocking the way and it's really easy to fail also be be sure you uh, you need to be careful when you're uh, messing around with it the waist is moving about 40 degrees front skirt is flippable as well and you know the legs uh, the legs uh, the the long part on the legs is movable as well. Legs can go sideways for probably about 40 degrees. And it can kick to the front for 90 degrees as well. Bending position, yep, if you over move too much, that's a problem. So I'll just show you. Uh, bending position is probably about, uh, it's really bendable actually. You can, you can just take a look at it. It's actually pretty bendable. For the leftover accessory, we will have a right hand open hand. We'll have a uh, gun. And we also got a, uh, these two parts will be used during in the transformation uh, process that which I will show you later and unfortunately there's no beam saber effect part there is a pair of beam saber at the rail waist part you can pull it out but there's no beam saber effect part for you to put it on so you can just rip off from some other kids to try to uh, repeat with the beam sabers uh, effect part quick demonstration on how to open up this shield so you can you need to pull it out first open it you bend it like this, you just randomly bend it like this and then you twist to the other side and you know there's a there's a there's a spot here you can put in the blade you can put the blade in and there you go you can open it up and then you can uh, just uh, clip up clipped up with other gun plus and then you can just uh, reassemble the scene that uh, curious uh, clipping the enemy and then uh, kind of torturing with the uh, needle here. So now I will show you the transforming process of the uh, from the MS mode to the flight mode. So first what you need to do, you need to pull up both legs. You pull off both legs like this, very easy right? Then what we need, then what we need to do is you move down the wings like this, you bend down, you bend down the uh, both of the joints like this stick it to the plant and then you might need to borrow a little tool to do this you don't need to remove the top yep i borrowed the tool to do that and um you know you just move it like this and then you will need to you will need to move it to the and then you will need to move the like to uh to be able to okay anyway you just remember this the feet must be at these uh on the black side and then you will need to take the uh, you will need to take the part that I just mentioned. Then we will need this little piece here. Be sure to uh, be sure uh, there's a side. You be sure the uh, the round side is facing out, and then you put on the wings. Once you finish putting uh, both legs into the position, it should look like this with the connector in the middle and both legs were uh, transformed. Then we will need to put a piece on the. Uh, right hand remember the the uh, the way with the joint facing out like this then we need to remove both hands then you will need to turn the then you need to turn the arm be sure the sticker side is facing out detach the back wings and then you need to fl you need to make sure the head the head is uh, going through from the front front of the uh, of the uh, transforming then we'll need to then we'll need to flip out these little parts on the shoulder. We'll need to flip it out in in order to clip it between the between the flighter. And also we'll need to move down the and also need to move down the hands. Do the same with the other side. All you need to do now is clip back the leg parts on it. Be sure to push down a little hard so it won't fall out. And you you are you are ninety percent done on the transformation. And you will need to pull out the handle of the spray gun. Then you will need to you there's a there's a hole in here. You connect it with the piece that you already attached on. You will need to pull out the uh the top of the 
connected on the shield then you need to flip it at the other side and you need to flip it at the other side and clip this little part on to the mobile suit and then you can clip back the shield on you clip that back and you clip the shield back on and basically the whole transformation has been completed all right time to wrap it up so uh good design mobile suit and i really like that you don't have to use the any of the part swapping to uh now you know require some of the part swapping but it's not like those xguc cough cough setter gundam you have to rip off the whole mobile suit just to transform uh i really like this idea simple transform uh, the transformation process is uh, I is it's not really hard to do it, and it won't actually have any kind of part falling. Uh, other than that, uh, other comment will be the uh, color the recoloring process is going to take a long time to do it, and also there are some panel lighting you might need to concern before you start panel light because uh, you kind of it kind of feels like over panel line if you penalize some of the incorrect parts, and. Also, during the MS mode, there's a huge problem about this is uh, because the because uh, the back tail is uh, which is the front of the of the plane and the black and the back of the plane and uh, because they clip together and is pretty heavy as well the back tail so it will it will have the you know the most common XG problem balancing problem. Uh, it couldn't really stand still, so please be careful about that. I recommend you to put on the action base if you really, if you really need to take on take any photos or anything else. Other than that, everything is fine. Uh, I really like this mobile suit design. Definitely recommend you to buy it. And if you want to use this as a painting practice, definitely recommend you to do it. And I'm really enjoying this um, mobile suit because you know I really like doubles design, and you know I actually think this is this. Mobile suit design is actually better than the Arios. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's the second season uh, Curious type mobile suit. Yes. And, you know, this is the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.